Hello everyone, so I wanted to come in and share with you guys uh, my newest orchid. So <laughs> to give you guys a little bit of an update, I have taken um, on probably about 9 or 10 orchids, okay? Um, most of them were discounted orchids, so I was getting them for like 3 anywhere from 3 to $8 um, US dollars at my local um, Home Depot Lowe's stores. So out of those, I say, I think it was probably about nine to be more accurate. So out of the nine, I lost about three or four of them um, because they were just too far gone and they just didn't make it through the winter. Um, so the health of them were a factor in which I lost. Um, but pretty much most of those that are in this video queue, um, if you look at my history of videos, those are all still alive. Um, but some of the, like the little miniatures and so forth, they didn't make it. But anyway, um, it is now Valentine's season, or after the fact of Valentine's season, and so I just wanted to show you guys my newest orchid. Um, I had been seeing this variety with a few others, and it is so pretty. It has like the white with the little pink center. And let me zoom in so you guys can see it. Isn't that gorgeous? So yeah, this was a gift to me from me <laughs> as, as, as they are the best gifts right um, so I decided to go ahead and get it I have a white one but not one with the little pink lips like this one so I just said I'd go ahead and and cut it and it was only like nine bucks so you can't beat that at a local little grocery store Aldi's um, so it has a card I'm just beginning to open it up here so you guys can see it says orchid happy Valentine's Day uh, zoom in a little bit there so you guys can see that and uh, it has a little care guide so what does it say place, place in bright well lit location avoid direct sunlight and then it goes into Spanish um, water with three ice cubes see I, I don't agree with the three ice cube watering um, that's where we differ I water regular I don't believe that anything needs to be shocked by getting cold water so um, yeah so I'll do my approach to taking care of it but it looks very very healthy as you can see the leaves are really really thick and glossy and let me take it out the plastic and I'll let you guys see but I did want you guys to see how many petals um, there were two varieties of the same color and this one had the most the most buds left on it so they look a little bit droopy um, so I'm hoping it doesn't have bud blast syndrome, but we'll see. So I'll keep you guys posted so we can see what happens there, but it, it's very healthy. Uh, it looks like it was very well taken care of at the nursery. Um, so I'm hoping to keep this one in my collection too, but let me open it up out the plastic and let you guys see that too. So hold tight. I'm taking it out of the plastic now, so now you guys can see what the roots look like this one is a very very healthy plant it has um, at least three nodules of growth so that's a very good sign it has roots extended out um, my only concern is that it's in like the the sphagnum moss medium so I don't know if it's going to come out of that that easily being that this plant is so overgrown it looks like it's been growing very happily in this uh, sphagnum moss. So I usually try to switch all my orchids out of the sphagnum moss and put them into bark. Um, so we'll see. I may try to do a partial if I can't get all the roots out. But this is this is it. So guys, I hope to see it bloom again. Until then, this is like my little documentation as well as sharing it with you guys so that I can look back and say, wow. That orchid was beautiful and just breathtaking. I can't wait for it to bloom again. So share with me some of your um, orchids and, and the colors and if they have any scents. Write down in the comment below and even send me a link so I can check out your channels too. Thank you for watching. Until next time, have a great day and enjoy the beauty that God has given us. Take care. Bye.